Ik doe mijn bal. Snoot, mijn knie aan. Ram light eye, again. Jam chop te jong, alleen die light is weer zo. Rupi wat wat wint je? Since its foundation in 1967, ASEAN has grown from strength to strength with the shared commitment and collective responsibility for long-lasting peace and prosperity within and beyond the region through the ASEAN way that cherishes mutual respect, non-interference in internal affairs, peaceful settlement of differences, consultation, and consensus. In 2022, Cambodia has the honor of serving as the ASEAN Chair for the third time under the theme ASEAN Act, addressing challenges together. In togetherness, we advocate for ASEAN unity, solidarity, and centrality in a regional architecture that is open, inclusive, and rules-based to enhance ASEAN's contribution to regional and global peace, stability, security, and sustainable development. We resolve to accelerate and harmonize our recovery efforts to build an inclusive, sustainable, and resilient post-COVID-19 ASEAN community. We commit to transform ASEAN into a highly competitive and integrated region by optimizing the utilization of the existing regional free trade agreements and ensuring effective implementation of the RCEP, Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership. We take actions to enhance connectivity, people-to-people -people exchange, digital economy and e-commerce, science and technology, stimulate digitalization, innovation and industrial transformation, strengthen MSME and empower women entrepreneurship, contribute to smooth global supply chains and narrow the development gap. On social cultural front, we strive to take full advantage of opportunities for long-term development and social welfare, leaving no one behind. We resolve to empower ASEAN peoples and strengthen ASEAN identity. We seek to ensure inclusive and equitable quality education, technical and vocational training, and boost innovative activities for youth and sport. To ensure inclusive ASEAN community, we work to strengthen social protection for all, especially vulnerable groups including migrant workers in times of climate change related health and other emerging crises. We look forward to warmly welcoming you to the Kingdom of Wonder. We will march together under the banner ASEAN Act, addressing challenges together to realize the ASEAN Community Vision 2025 and beyond. To strive in harmony, peace, and prosperity, let's act together, addressing challenges together. Good evening, everyone. So welcome for the reflection. And today we are so excited that uh, the reflection will come again. And actually, this year is the ASEAN uh, Cambodian as a chairmanship. Therefore, we have a lot of programs, a lot of events that we have to be responsible. And the next few more days, there will be a lot of potential leaders around the world will come to visit to Cambodia. And we have to prepare a lot, and especially not just only our leaders, our prime minister, uh, our minister, but also Cambodian youth, what should we prepare themselves? What should we know about the ASEAN? Therefore, in here today, we also have a topic about uh, why ASEAN have ASEAN leaders have to listen to the voice or concerns of the youth. And during the programs of the ASEAN Summit, we have one program among that we call ASEAN Youth Interface. ASEAN Youth Interface is a program that reflect together the 10, uh, 10 ASEAN uh, youth from each country to discuss 
about concern about what they want to give a recommendation to the top leader to consider and implement what they are concerned about. Therefore, today we are so excited to welcome uh, uh, Sombat and also Jin Song and Sombat, uh, the graduate student from Paragon, majoring in political science and international relations. And he is also involved a lot in terms of uh, uh, political affair and also the diplomatic uh, issue as well. And he was uh, joined the ASEAN Jews Dialogue in Simri province, uh, as I know, uh, Sombat. And also welcome for Ching Song. Ching Song also the uh, uh, university student in Panya Sastra, and uh, she is also majoring in international relations. So both of you also uh, major the same, right? International relations. I'm also the same major as well. So we all uh, in terms of uh, international relations. So without further delay, so please welcome uh, Sombat. Hello, Sombat. Are you here? Yes, Bong. Hello, Jesu Bong. Okay, so Sombat. Uh, can you say something to our fellow audience? Yes, uh, good evening everyone who watching the live stream on the reflection page, uh, on Facebook page. Uh, my name is Maya Sabat, as Bong uh, have mentioned. Um, currently, I am doing a, um, I already holding a bachelor degree in political science and international relations from Paragon International University. And mm -hmm. this year, it is my great honor to be selected as one of the Cambodian youth delegates to the ASEAN leader interface with youth representative from ASEAN. Uh, thank you, uh, Sombat. And how about Ching Song? How are you today? You look so nervous. <laughs> I feel <hear> that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course, because it's a live interview. So that's why. So first of all, let me uh, so my greeting to excellencies, ladies and gentlemen who are watching this live right now. So. Yeah, I want to introduce myself. Like my name is Jing Song, and I am a, a senior student at uh, Banya Sastra University. And currently, I am involved into the um the ASEAN leader interface with representative of ASEAN youth. Yes. Okay, that that's pretty nice. Actually, Sombat and also Jing Song will be the representatives of Cambodian uh, in the programs of ASEAN leader interface. This program again, that is a program for gathering 10 ASEAN youth, uh, 20, 20, yeah, uh, from each, uh, I mean like one country to uh, uh, delegates. So they express their concern, their needs, and make a recommendation to the top leader to consider and oversee, and also uh, they, they implement it later on. Therefore, you will be prepared a lot, as I know. So, uh, for our fellow audience, if you have any question, like so, why ASEAN leader have to listen our voice? Why do uh, what what is our concern that we have to uh, to drop something like that? You can uh, drop in the the comment, and we try our best to deal. Okay, so let's uh, move to the first question. Uh, so, have you heard about like use play the the the, the driving force or the engines of our nation. What do you think about this word? Uh, go to both of my or me. Yeah, okay, so Matt first. Okay, um, okay. thank you for the question. Yeah, it is very important to understand that um, youth is playing a key role in bringing most of many forces. I could say like this because use is the catalyst to bring the country to for development. Mm -hmm. and also, use is the major force to bring a country to better develop or not develop. Right? Um, to note that ASEAN currently have around two hundred million use, which is total population is six hundred million. We can see that use now they playing a key role in ASEAN, and um, for for ASEAN itself. Uh, it needs a young people who have powers, energy, new idea to push them into another level. Um, by said so, use is the the key. People uh, is a key one to 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 make sure that they have a potential enough to reach that level. Uh, I, I in short, I could say that um, use itself is is one of the group where they are needed for the future ready. If that the use, the in that time is not ready itself for the future, ASEAN problem also facing some problem in the future because they are the future leader 
future decision making, future action maker. Okay, so I mean, like just today, we'll be the future leaders of ASEAN. So, how about you, Song? Anything to add? Yes, just this sound like Bong Sumbat, and I want to add on a little bit. Like, we all know that youth is the important driving force to uh, uh, develop a society. So, uh, youth engagement in the um, this policy making process is very important as we are the one who living in the society, the one who living in this generation and the one who living in the uh, uh, future of tomorrow. So uh, we know exactly what are the challenges we uh, we, make, uh, we facing and uh, what are the needs uh, of uh, a living. So uh, if uh, youth can involve in uh, these areas, I believe that we will be uh, together are stronger. Okay, thank you. you. You have mentioned about some uh, challenges, some needs of our use. Could you elaborate it a bit? Yes, uh, for example, like, uh, as we know now, uh, the world is uh, like a fast moving pace ever. Like we are in the 21st century, everything is um, transforming to uh, online. And we, we have a lot of uh, challenges like, uh, technology, science, and uh, innovation, so on and so on. And youth have faced a lot of uh, this new adaptation with the new environment, new transforming environment. So this is one of the areas that youth should uh, um, focusing on and uh, mm -hmm. that youth nowadays are fa facing uh, the problem like right now. Okay, thank you. So uh, move back to our program. So the program is called like ASEAN Leader Youth Interface. So could you tell me what is that about? Uh, okay, Bong. So uh, so-called ASEAN you, uh, Leader Interface with uh, as user representative of ASEAN, from ASEAN is a official site event or we can call a program where it allowing a space for the use, um, ASEAN use to meet face-to-face uh, -face with the ASEAN leaders, head of state and head of governments, um, in purpose to deliver the policy recommendation, which is the outcome mm -hmm. of the uh, first ASEAN Youth Dialogue happened in Siem Reap uh, on 25 and 26 July 2022. So this recommendation have been discussing among 150 delegates from ASEAN country and plus uh, youth from Republic of Korea. Um, so uh, this is the opportunity where allowed you to deliver what we have discussed, what we see as a concern, what we see as a solution, what we see as what it should be the next plan uh, to the head of states. And it's also a opportunity in a stage where we will listen to the responding of the head of state and head of government uh, on what we have proposed. And then they will take it to considering for the future um, policy uh, implementation, uh, which is, I hope that this implementation, this recommendation is benefit for all, not just Cambodian use, but for ASEAN use as a whole. Okay. Uh, is it uh, important for this program that uh, we should have uh, use from our country or also uh, other country, like ASEAN country, uh, to represent and then come to face, uh, face to face uh, to express their concern to the leader? Jin Suang? Um... Like actually, uh, this uh, uh, ASEAN Youth Interface is uh, related to the first ASEAN Youth Dialogues because we will have the session which we will deliver the recommendation that we have already made in the uh, our first ASEAN Youth Dialogue back then in um, uh, Siem Reap. Mm -hmm. So uh, um, this is very important to bring all together uh, your representative uh, to meet again face to face and uh, gathering more um, like um, the ideas of them, how they uh, um, like uh, want to deli deliver or propose those recommended pol uh, recommendation policy to our ASEAN leaders. Okay, so, so what kinds of uh, recommendation policy you have mentioned about? Um, it uh, a recommend policy that uh, we have already already made at uh, the first ASEAN Youth Dialogue, which focus on the eight thematic areas, um, 
yeah, including governance, uh, climate change, people to people change, um, science, uh, technology and innovation, so forth and so on. Yeah, and then we come together at Zero Maria, uh, like at July, I remember. So we have discussed already and um, um, collect the ideas and we together create those uh, recommendation policy. Uh, okay, so it means like uh, the, 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 the recommendation policy is uh, our concern about technology, about climate change, that not just only the ASEAN, but also youth also face it. And then they come face to face to express and join the recommendation to propose to the leader. Am I right? Yes, well, yes. Okay, okay. So uh, in the program, so both of you, what, what, are, uh, what, what is your role in, in, in the event, the next uh, event? Oh, okay, well, I, I can start with this question. So mm -hmm. what is our role uh, uh, playing in the ASEAN leader interface with uh, user representative from ASEAN? Uh, we have, I could say three main roles. First mm -hmm. one, is a, being a youth representative of Cambodia, it, it is our main responsibility to be a uh, voice raiser of Cambodian youth. Um, second, we are the one who represent not just Cambodia, but also ASEAN itself. Uh, collecting from um, around 75 delegates from ASEAN and, and Korea. We, we will be there not just to represent our voice, but represent the whole ASEAN community and rock voice about our concern, our message that we want to propose for the leader to be considered in the future. And our third role is being because the Cambodian is a Zen chair, I could say we also being ready to be a tour guide, uh, also to be a person who to promoting our culture uh, to the international stage. Uh, we also having a side visit where we have opportunity to show them about our culture and um, our um, traditional richness of everything and food, a, a food and music. So we, we try to be our uh, like uh, like ambassador itself. So this is the uh, the three main role I think uh, we we are doing. There. Okay, so I mean like the representative uh, representatives of uh Cambodian youth, representative of ASEAN, and also uh, as a chairman as well. Actually, in Cambodian, if you look at the issue or challenge of our youth nowadays, there are a lot a lot right about unemployment, about education, about morality, technology, digital scale. And those kind a lot of climate change, something like that. So how can you listen to all or gather all the issue or challenge from those uh, youth in Cambodian and then you bring to the table to discuss with the ASEAN youth? How can? Okay, well, uh, it's a very interesting question. Uh, like, like I would like to mention clearly again about a thematic uh, or strategic topic or main topic that we discussed during the ASEAN first ASEAN youth dialogue, which is the, the first one is governance, second is science, technology, and innovation. Third is future work. Four is infrastructure connectivity. Mm -hmm. Five, inclusive and sustainable growth. Six, climate change movement. Seven, narrowing developing gap among ASEAN member states. And eight, people into people exchange. You know, there was a lot of issue considering ASEAN is a big one. A lot of some mil hundreds of million of people are living in the region. Uh, what we're trying to do look is that we're not trying to look at the very broad way. What we're trying to look at some policy which is practical and doable. So we're trying to cut down the imaginations policy itself, but we're trying to make sure that it's doable for the next year, it's doable for the now, it's doable for the next chairmanship or this chairmanship itself. So we're trying to cut all imaginary and going straight forward to um to 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 um uh, to the action itself uh, for example a future work which is uh talking about uh, the problem of unemployment ability of the use in as in use currently so we try to propose the leaders about uh creating the space where use can be in training to one common certifies mm -hmm, skill mm -hmm. which is they can benefit for all inclusivity and at fairness in the region. Regarding to uh, Zion technology, we're trying to make sure that youth are involved and assessed to science and STEM itself, not 
just for use in the city, but use in countryside. So the, the policy itself trying to look doable, actionable, practical, and especially inclus uh, inclusiveness and fairness for all the use. Okay, okay, that that's great. And and uh, Jin Song, anything to add uh, besides Samba? Mm, uh, as both Samba have already have already been said, um, so I want to add a little bit more on uh, the question like you have been asked, what are our roles and what have been prepared to the event? So um, to be first and clear, uh, we are represented um, youth in our respective country. And as what Wong Sumbat said, we have uh, we also represented youth across uh, the Asian countries. And, uh, but I want to add that uh, we, our role also want to um, uh, make sure that our policy, our recommend, recommendation policy that we make are um, impactful for all and have the inclusiveness for all youth and not just uh, a group of people. Yes. Okay, thank you. So you have mentioned like you are not going just only uh, the representatives of Cambodian youth, but also to have to dis negotiate or discuss with us in youth. So for example, like Cambodian nowadays, we don't look for, for uh, far away like we need to go to AI, AI, we are so far, right? In, in now, uh, we can say like that compared to the Singapore. So Singapore, they already in that way. So for example, like Singapore have a, a three or four of concern or challenge, but they are nearly into the AI. And for Cambodian, we have a four or five concern as well, or policy recommendation. And then how you represent the tiers of Cambodian and you can uh, uh, persuade those as in uh, use, a delegate to listen to you and then put our concern to the recommendation. Uh, yes, that's a good point. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, so uh, I want to thank to uh, this uh, event that can bring all the youth representatives together so that we can discuss and have the compromise on the uh, the challenges on the areas that we uh, have faced. So even though we have um, the different uh, level of de development, but we're trying to uh, be being uh, like um, trying to find uh, what are the inclusive for all youth, but not an accessory to uh, um, to interest a, a group of people. So that's why uh, this uh, event is a great event that uh, can, um, yeah, like what I said, bring people together and discuss and talk and find the solution. Okay, good, good. How, how about some yeah, um, so it's a very, I also see it a very interesting question. Um, you mentioned that we might having a different gap in developments, especially comparing Cambodian to Singapore. And also there was also another topic, which is narrow, narrowing the developing gap between ASEAN member states itself. And so uh, during the time, oh, you could say we've been a lot of many process when we discuss about policy recommendation, which has not come one day and finalize the recommendation. We coming to many way, including the pre-departure discussion, coming to World Coffee, which is a program where a lot of youth and experts to discuss each other, cut down some unnecessary, top, uh, unnecessary recommendation, take some a doable action. We go doing synthesis, how to combine it together, we go into, we not just discuss among youth, we also making a dialogue with the Minister of Youth and Minister of Education during the first ASEAN Youth Dialogue. And at the time, the, the policy recommendation itself go through another state, which is ASEAN Secretariat to look at it. So it go into many work and many um, discussion to ensure that this is not just for Cambodia, but this policy recommendation is designed for all the member states. And to know that uh, if we, if Singapore and Cambodian have a lot of different developing gaps, we still could see some common uh, problem just because of use. Now, if we kind of reach the level of that high AI technology, but use in ASEAN country need to be slowly walk or run into that level. So we learn from we learn the we learn the lesson from the high developing country to implement in the developing country and then make 
makes it well. <laughs> and then okay, so in mean like we try to compromise. Okay, we try to uh, find the common uh, issue or challenge. Uh, it's not just only Cambodian. We can look at Laos, Thailand, and Vietnam also have a similar common, a similar issue or challenge uh, as Cambodian. So that that is not a problem. Yeah. Okay, so we try to compromise. Okay, uh, thank you. And for our fellow audience, if you have any question, you can drop in the comment and also uh, please share us uh, to get uh, to your friend to know like why uh, Cambodians uh, this year have a lot even ASEAN, 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 but do you know about like what the roles of use in ASEAN? That is what we have to discuss right now. And the next question is like, how is it important to put the use voice to the ASEAN leader? Why they have to listen to our youth as a leader? Okay. Um, I can start very shortly and then I will uh, turn this question to King Soang. Um, the reason why it's very important uh, for youth to input the voice into the leader, as I mentioned, ASEAN itself have 200 million, which is around 30% already of total population between age of 15 to 34 years old. And it's very important that no one know about your story other than you, because you face it, you experience it, you know how to solve it. And considering leaders have a lot of work, we use need to take an action. We need to use need to step in and have a chance to raise our voice. But this way, not just one individual people, but we come across the nation, bringing all knowledge and all, all knowledge and all issue in one table and then try to seek of what it's best and, and and turning back why is the is why of use is very important i could say three points is that one is that use is the one who live in that issue second use are playing a key important role because you have a lot of population in ASEAN. and third is that use nowadays is playing a, their role more than any other year because this is the years, year of ASEAN and the year of use in 2022. Why not just raising their voice to the leaders and leave yeah. them considering to discuss? Yeah. Okay, uh, years of ASEAN use, that's why uh, Cambodian respond a lot of even like ASEAN use photo competition, video contest, ASEAN use debate, and ASEAN use dialogue, a lot of even about use. I um, really appreciate uh, the Ministry of Education and also uh, relevant ministry and NGO that work and try to cooperate together. We also work hacking as an uh, ASEAN chairman. And then you have mentioned like, uh, actually, all generation, they born with all generation with uh, all new, all issue, right? So we born with a new generation as a youth like we will have a lot of uh, updated issues and challenges as well. So only us that know what is exactly our, 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 our concern. So how about you, Song? Anything to comment on the uh, somebody uh, mentioned? Yes, well, uh, I just want to mention 2020 seconds is the years of ASEAN. So that's why uh, we have a lot of uh, um, I'm sorry, 2020 second is the year of ASEAN youth. So that's why we have a lot of uh, youth related program, youth uh, related event that um, encourage youth, that we aim to empowerment youth as you, uh, youth is the driving force of the, uh, the country and driving force of our region so that um, the future is uh, develop, the development of the future is begins to with uh, the being aware of um, our youth today issues. So that's why youth are important uh, in today's era. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Sorry, Bong, I may, I may a little bit cut off, but I would like to- Yeah, uh, yeah, you can add on. Information to the, 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 uh, for the question four. Um, you mentioned a very good point about the old people or old generation people born with their own mindset. And it's also very important that you should speak to the leader because it's called intergeneration uh, dialogue, allowing a people from young generation, people to, from old generation discussing what they are thinking. They might be have some different perspective to work that issue, but when they discuss, I think there might be something uh, new and uh, find out the solution, which is beneficial for all, not just old people, but also uh, young people. 
Yes, this is Anne. Yeah, uh, yeah, we, we, we recognize the old people have a lot of experience, have a lot of, uh, they, they walk a lot of way that we can follow, but the uh, new generation always have a new problem, new challenges that we have to address as well. So, I mean, like we try to complete each other, the new will we replace the new, the old wealth. Okay, uh, thank you. So, back to the policy recommendation. Uh, actually, we have been discussed uh, a lot about that, but uh, how we make it as a joint uh, policy recommendation? Any procedure or how, how do we make it? Mm, yes, we uh, have a lot of uh, procedure and step to make a joint statement. We have come a lot of, uh, with a lot of experience, especially back then in uh, our first Asian Youth Dialogue, which uh, most of us have already um, um, mentioned earlier, we have the start from the pre departure program, like three day online with discussing, collecting ideas, and then we come to the on site event, which we have the um, uh, experience the uh, world cafe model to discuss and heal the ideas and all topics together. And then we come to synthesis to merge and restructure those recommendations to be ready with the dialogue. Uh, with the, our minister and high level official and then um, come to uh, today with the help of uh, the secret uh, ASEAN secretariat we have the comparison matrix on the recommendation to produce a refined version of 12 points mm -hmm. uh, recommendations uh, as a joint as a, a ready joint statement to deliver to our ASEAN leaders so it is a long have a long story to make uh, those statements that uh, I have experienced with Wong Subat and other representative uh, youth across the region and also our friend from Korea. Okay, a lot of discussion, a lot of procedure and take time. Wong Subat, anything to add you, you might have? Uh, I think Kiso already mentioned very clear about the process of how it, it uh it not having done is spending months to to make sure that this recommendation is beneficial for all. I, I mentioned again, inclusive benefit for all and fairness for not just Cambodian youth, but all ASEAN country and also our uh, rock friend, a Republic of Korea friend. Um, uh, and yeah, our, our um, hard work about months is almost ready to deliver mm -hmm. to the ASEAN leader itself, ASEAN uh, head of state, ASEAN head of government very soon on 10 November. So we're really excited to deliver it and uh, announce it to the public on what we have done. Okay, are you feel proud right now? Most of you <laughs> that represent Cambodian or uh, a lot of youth and you can talk to the ASEAN leader, that is a rare opportunity, right? I, I, yeah, well, I don't take it as a proud, but I take it as a responsibility. The more opportunity you got at this level, much opportunity, uh, much, much, uh, much responsibility, much pressure comes to you. You need to handle it very carefully. Millions mm -hmm. of people just I look at you, and then, yeah, um, I take it <laughs> with responsibility. Yeah, I, I strongly agree that the, a lot of pressure, a lot of responsibility, because what we will do, what we Act, make sure that it represents the views of Cambodian youth. It's not you, or Ching Song, it's not some bad, but represent our Cambodian youth as a whole. That is a big concern as well. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I feel that. Okay, so so uh, another question. What will you bring to the discussion the next day in the event? Uh, you, you mean... Uh... The topic, the concern, what what something that you will bring to the discussion with the as, other ASEAN youth? Um, actually, uh, we have already discussed and make uh, our decisions and uh, on the our, uh, on the uh, recommend policy making. So on that day, we will only focus on to deliver what uh, we have be ready, uh, what we have already discussed, those discussion and those um, that we have already compromised together to deliver to uh, our ASEAN leaders. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, okay, thank you. Uh, actually, we have one question from the audience that is also uh, interesting, therefore, I, I might rest for you. <laughs> uh, 
uh, Ropi Med, Ropi Med, he asked the question like, how can Cambodian youth prepare for the challenges in the IO 4.0 era? How can we, 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 we fight for this challenge? Fight for the challenge, very yes. good question. Prepare and fight for the challenge. Okay, yeah, that's so, interesting. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's uh, also related to the, our uh, topic, like uh, the theme of our, uh, the first Asian youth dialogue for uh, youth in the fourth industrial, uh, for, I, for IO industrial era. So um, I think uh, youth in this uh, um, fourth industrial revolution era uh, should be for because on the what we call the 21st century skills, because it's very important as we now living in the uh, 21st century, 2020 seconds. Uh, so um, yes, uh, we have um, experienced a lot of uh, change, a lot of uh, new environments. So mm -hmm. those 21st century skills are very needable to um, help us in a living uh, as well as help us to de develop ourselves and to uh, get involved in the societies. Otherwise, we will like, if we don't have those skills, if we don't uh, um, like improve ourselves, I, th I mean, so we will be left out. I'm, uh, so um, we will like, don't know uh, like what to do and where to go if we uh, don't catch up with uh, the 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 development. Uh, okay, thank you, Jin Song. How about Sumbat? Anything to respond? Yes, uh, I do interesting with this question um, regarding about how we fight and how we develop it in ourselves to uh, the outcome of the FIO um, for industrial revolution. Um, as, as mentioned by Jin Song, I'm very interesting about uh, 21st century skill um which you now need to study um besides from this i need i want to highlight it about um use currently uh more more awareness about how the world changed so fast and it's, it's just because of the covid 19 pandemic many things have transformed from physical to online and so we, we also see in cambodia now training very transformed very fast um from from something uh, you you buy something and you hand the money to the seller now you are using a digital mobile yeah we call it a fintech financial yeah. technology yes yeah mobile. A, lot of, a lot of technology um having changed uh, but what i'm trying to understand is uh, i will try to mention is that you just need to have more than just they know meaning that if they are study I.O. Now, the three of us, uh, including also Pick, is also study I.O. We're not just going to read the book, uh, just knowing that, okay, we just only focus on, uh, on I.O., on politics, on history, and we're just living in the, the room of historical and politics without technology. We need itself the foundation of knowledge and how to use the technology, how to get up, how to catch, catch the opportunity with the opportunity, the knowledge itself about how to to use that technology to develop and to bring the easiness and uh, further development to ourselves. Uh, okay. This is how we should uh, should do to, to, to improve. Okay. So both of you, mostly you have mentioned about ourselves as a use, how we find and prepare for the digital area. Actually, we already uh, going that in terms of using app, technology, STEM education, a lot of uh, use currently uh, involved in the, 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 the technology and uh, industry 4.0. So, uh, but but uh, who should involve in that, like government, ASEAN, or any other uh, relevant actor that should deal uh, this problem for use or guide them for the future job? Um, yes, well, uh, I think um, I, I can answer very short to this question. Um, sorry, there must be a noise from my brother and sister. <laughs> anyway, okay. um, I think all individuals, all actors, is playing a patron role to fighting this issue. Use itself need to uh, have a key role to develop their potential. The government have a very important role to narrow down the, the gap of the people to access to the technology, especially the people who live in a rural area, vulnerable people who cannot access to those uh, uh, the opportunity of the 4IO. Um, so and the NGO need to work on supporting and giving a training or giving a, a 
a, a support material to the people who need so that they can get access to it and get an opportunity uh, like employment or something else. And especially um, one of the most important thing is they need to come together in being one of the uh, in being one of the regulation, especially uh, technology regulation, because now we we are having a technology, we are really enjoyed to it. But one, if we don't have a regulation itself, the technology will be hitting us back. It is might be a problem. It might be issue, which is we we don't want to happen. But mm -hmm. ready for it is very important. That's why all are playing role, but just having their different responsibility to fighting it to develop it okay that that's pretty nice how about you so on yes i strongly agree with him yeah, yeah everyone are uh, in the the, the the responsibility to develop in these areas and um i think uh the government youth itself and also organization number of organizations are really important to help youth in the um for industrial revolution as well as in those technologies that uh, we lacking of in the rural areas as um uh, like many of youth in Phnom Penh maybe we have those uh, as, uh accessibility into the um technology but a lot of people like and youth in the rural areas youth uh, uh across the province like they don't have enough uh, the facilities so uh this is the responsible of every people to help them because we are together as cambodian people we have different responsibility responsibility to help uh um our citizens and our youth to develop mm -hmm. their self yes uh, okay, thank you, Jin Song and Sombat also uh, have a good answer. Actually, in the ASEAN and also Cambodian as well, we always use the uh, policy. First, we have to put it into the policy and then we, 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 we implement it later. Therefore, in this ASEAN youth leader in the face, as a youth, we gather any concern regarding to the I.O. as well, 4.0. Yes, we concern come uh, ASEAN should focus more, should invest more, should provide opportunity. Because youth nowadays, we have a lot of powerful engine, a powerful mind, a spirit, a strong spirit to fight and promote our culture and our nation as well. So we need just only opportunity, right? Therefore, we have to ask for the ASEAN leader to consider, please help us, provide us opportunity in terms of the industrial 4.0, in terms of job employment, in terms of education, in terms of health care. Therefore, ASEAN nowadays, they have the ASEAN Youth Index that they focus on education, health care, uh, 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 employment as well. So they try to make sure uh, the youth uh, youth will have a lot of opportunity. After the ASEAN get those recommendations, they will put into the practice into the national level. Therefore, Cambodian nowadays, they have a lot of opportunity for use. The ASEAN use debate, ASEAN uh, uh, use for a video contestant, ASEAN use dialogue, a lot of STEM technology, that's, that, that those kind of things become what? Become from our concern to the ASEAN leader. However, even though we have a thousand opportunity, but if we are individual themselves, they don't get up and fight for it, there is nothing happen for them. Right? That's true. So you have mentioned about the challenge of the ASEAN, uh, of the Jews in the rural area that they don't have a facility. Yes, we, 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 we absolutely agree. But nowadays, uh, our Ministry of Education try to build an anti-ES school uh, a resource uh, center to promote STEM education to make sure the kids at the province also have a chance to involve in the industry 4.0. And most of them nowadays, they have a mobile phone. They can use computer, right? So they can use the mobile phone, they can app, they can watch YouTube to make sure they also a part of that as well. Yep. Okay. Uh, anything to add, my comment? <laughs> yeah. No, no, you already mentioned a very yeah. good point. Yeah. Which is you are true. Like what you said are true. Like uh 
I have uh, as what I have heard from our leaders. Um, uh, she she have mentioned that in Khmer, they have youth nowadays need to like know how to đọc ảo cá, chập ảo cá, nâng chập ảo cá. Like she mean like if we have uh, if we have already the opportunity in our face, we need to grab it and know how to um deal with it. Know how to uh, um try our best into those opportunities and if we don't have those opportunity we, we need to try to seek for it uh yeah go to research on the internet or find network yeah but another thing is that we have the opportunity but we don't know how to grab it we don't know how to seize it like uh for example okay, that, like that is a that is a job of our ministry our asian that have to make sure provide yeah. opportunity and then the information to them Right. Yes. Yes. Yeah. But when we have those information, we 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 youth ourselves need to know how to seize those opportunities, how to uh um uh, deal with those opportunities. Otherwise, they will got like uh as like for example, this year is uh Cambodia as a, an Asian chairs. So it's like once in the ten years, like we are the chairs of Asian. So this is uh. We have a lot of opportunity that created by the, the Cambodia government. So if we don't know how to um seize opportunity seize those opportunities, so then it will gone soon. For example, this uh uh now we are uh we we are November already, only one month left. We are um this uh chairmanship will like move Finish. to another countries. Yes. So I mean like this is important to know how to seize those opportunity when they are uh, already in our face. Yes. Okay, that's why you both can catch this opportunity to represent Cambodian Jews. <laughs> okay, that that's pretty nice. I hope uh, the the uh, the uh, Bong uh, Ropi Med will get the answer. Okay, if uh, the rest have any question or concern, please drop in the comment. We try our best to deal and move to the next question. During the ASEAN Youth Interface, after we have a lot of discussion to join the policy recommendation, and then two of a country, uh, maybe Cambodians, maybe youth, as I suppose, because we are a chair, we will come and read the recommendation to the top uh, leaders of ASEAN. And my question, how do we know your statement or our policy recommendation will be considered by the ASEAN leaders? How do we know that? Um, okay, Bong, um, I can I can start with this question. I think okay. you also can add more uh, about what he's thought of this question. Um, for me, I think uh, we should first start talking about the policy recommendation itself is already discussed by many use and um, for use and benefit for use. And I we can see through how the itself <laughs> considering this use statement just because uh, when we receive their positive response from the government, um, we can see through their response. Um, second, we can see through by their, their recommendation, whether this, this policy should be practical, should be implemented in the future. And so far, from a youth perspective, um, I am very positive and also very optimistic about the ASEAN leader, ASEAN have state and governments, uh, itself because they may have the same ideas, common goals like us. We propose this, we propose our concern, we propose our solution, and why not? They take into consideration, but maybe they polish something that need to be doable, more efficiency, because they are experiencing this. So uh, I hope that this will be considered by the ASEAN leaders. Okay, good positive belief. Okay, how about you, Soa? You still strongly believe that? Yes, <laughs> me too. Because like as we uh we can see it in our procedure, we have the we will have the positive remark from uh, our ASEAN leaders on the re our recommend policy that we have delivered, and also we will have uh like remarks and comments from um others as young leaders across uh the regions and 
yeah so why not um uh, they um uh, why not just uh have the positive thinking that we out uh, uh like what we what up what we doing right now is impact for the future yeah thank you uh actually this is uh i have evidence to show you uh in 2020 i was as in use uh in the first representative uh, the same as you as well but in 2020 uh, during that time we do it by online virtually and luckily that i cannot meet our uh, the top leaders face to face but i meet uh, our prime minister in the uh, peace meeting uh the council minister yeah uh, that I, I i met him yeah that is a great honor that i met our prime minister yeah uh so that time the 10 ASEAN delegates have proposed three things as a policy recommendation. The first one is about the uh, use in industrial revolution 4.0. So ASEAN use leader have to consider and provide more opportunity to every use as much as possible in terms of digital education, technology, STEM. Therefore, you see a lot of even a lot of competition in terms of STEM, in terms of uh, uh, digital happen nowadays, right? That is a result from those recommendations. And the second is about the use and employment. And the third one, use and volunteer. Therefore, uh, the Ministry of Education, especially the Department of Use, as you know, the General Department of Use have a lot of volunteer, volunteer work for you like camping universal, uh, 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 uh national use debate, and a lot of other uh, competition that recruit for volunteer. Why they try to provide a volunteer to the youth? Because they can learn a lot rather uh, besides just only study at school. And thus, this is the benefit and the impacts from the policy recommendations since 2020 that I was there. But uh, during that time, you know, because I'm still afraid, I'm still my English is not good. Therefore, uh, sometimes I, I I raise the uh, concern. Sometimes I, I I cannot. Yes, that that is my mistake. That time, if I have chance to be there again, I will shine it. I make it a greater. Yeah, <laughs> I believe. And I suppose Ching Song and Samad will be the better than me, and show that we are really important and uh, uh, a great as a chairman. 2022. Thank you. We'll try our best. <laughs> yeah. Don't be nervous. I believe you both will be a great job and performance as a diplomatic person. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so uh, if you don't have any question from our audience, I have uh, one last question, uh, two last question. Uh, the first one, what do you expect from this event? Okay. Okay, um, yeah. so like as a Europe representative, what we can expect is hopefully everything will go smooth and we will uh, successfully deliver those recommendation policy to uh, our uh, leaders and expecting for good comments and feedback. Yes. Okay. How about some <laughs> she already mentioned all my point. I mean, this is all. <laughs> she your mind. Yeah, yeah. She, she already mentioned that we, we just want uh, in short we want to uh, make sure that this event went smoothly. Uh, we 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 successfully delivered to the leader. We get, getting a response, positive a recommendation or comment, uh, and also especially um, make sure that uh, we can bring it into um, successful level uh, for uh, and showing our. Cambodian use and as in use that we have did it. And last but not least, uh, what I expect from this event is that I, I see this event as a news network uh, where it has allowed me not just a space to be the leader, but my Azin friend. I really miss them. Uh, they are the friend from Azin Use Dialogue. And why not? They just visit Syria. Now come into the capital. Let me show you what we got. And this is how we also being a diplomat in giving to a guy ambassador to my city. And then uh, this is what I also expect as a part of the program. Okay, thank thank you, uh, Sumat and Ching Song for a great discussion for tonight. And I do believe our discussion will be fruitful to our fellow audience. And we wish. The ASEAN uh, summit will uh, successfully, and also the ASEAN Youth Leader uh, Interface, we also conducted uh, uh, successfully and fruitfully. Uh, and 
Okay, any comment or anything to add more before we end our discussion? Jin Song or Somat, anything you want to say to our ministry or education or us? Are you proud as a Cambodian delegates this year? So, yeah, I can go a little bit first. Um, so first of all, thank you so much for reminding me. Um, this is the last question. Um, I I, I guess I have a very short message. First is to thanks to. Um, the government of Cambodia, with the leadership of Prime Minister Sambadi Chowon Sain, um, doing as the chair um, of the ASEAN, and also thanking to the Ministry of Education and Youth and Sport, uh, because they are the one who hosting the ASEAN Youth Dialogue, and we are coming from ASEAN Youth Dialogue to deliver and have the opportunity to meet with the leader. Um, especially thanks to the general uh, general department of the youth, um, and also the the the, the working group. Um, who working so hard to create this event to be happen. Last but not least, uh, my message to you is that uh, uh, remember, this is your chance. Even though you want to be a delegate or you're not uh, being a delegate, it doesn't matter. What you can bring into Cambodia is being a youth beyond listener, being a youth in action, and especially being a youth in engagement. Catch the opportunity when you have and learn from it even though the first time might be not good for you, but learn from it and improve in the future. ASEAN use is very strong than you think. Go for it, use. Thank you. Wow, that is a fruitful message. <laughs> How about Jin Song? Yes, the same like, just the same like Wong Sung Bat. Yeah, thank you for the uh, government of the Kingdom of Cambodia for um, uh, hosting a lot of youth related event and especially the Ministry of Education, Youth and Sport, that um, we at the General uh, Department of Youth uh, run a lot of youth-related events that um, uh, provide me these opportunities to uh, shine in this year. So yeah, I'm very uh, happy to um, be a, a representative of Cambodian youth. And last but not least, I want to say that um, youth together we will be better as uh asean um 2020 uh second theme this year act addressing challenge together so i believe together we will be better okay thank you actually today is a water festival that everyone this time hang out in simbi province uh, let's say you know in their hometown enjoy with the family but uh three of us still in the zoom uh, live streaming <laughs> Yeah, maybe we are almost in call, therefore we don't go. Okay, just a kidding. Uh, anyway, thank you so much uh, for both of you for joining uh, the discussion today. We are really thank you and also thank to our fellow audience that try to watch and uh, uh, follow our page. And we do believe this discussion will bring the benefit to our Cambodian Jews. And especially the policy recommendation will be implemented and effective and useful for not just only Cambodian Jews, but also ASEAN as a whole. Thank you. Have a nice day, everyone. Thank you for joining us tonight. Yeah, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Wait, wait, everyone.